Hi, Gemini. Happy birthday um, to those who are still celebrating or, you know, whatever, whenever. Um, this is a reading, a general read for the next two weeks. So this will be for June 3rd going to June 17th. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the High Priestess. The chariot, what fell out on the chariot was the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Hangman, and then the Moon in Reverse. And I don't even really read reversals, but this Moon in Reverse, it, it just kept flipping out on reverse. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it looks like there's some some things being revealed to you some things are put in motion it's happening around you um what you didn't know is coming to light with the ace of swords and then the moon here you're going to get some truth and clarity and it hopefully allow you to lay down what you you deem is burdensome what you deem is just too much to carry uh for the last week um for the le for the second week of this reading, um, you're gonna be at the hangman status. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you're at the hangman status in regards to a decision that you need to make. Um, yeah, this looks like a decision. You just you're wondering like, should I keep putting work into something? I'm not getting what I want. It could be with someone who you know who you've known a very long time, six or more years. Someone who could be older than you. They keep secrets from you. Could be a cancer. It could, you could have something long-standing with a cancer person. You could even have children with a cancer. Some truth and clarity comes that'll possibly help you move forward. Um, we get the King of Cups here at the bottom of that. Typically, that's Pisces or Scorpio. And then the Ace of Cups, and then the Queen of Wands, and then the Two of Swords, and then the Knight of Cups, and then the Fool, and then the Two of Cups, and then the Five of Swords, and then the Ten of Swords, Temperance, the Sun. Uh, for some of my my Gemini's, you you might be in a pretty solid relationship. Um, you may be coming up as the king of cups for some of my male Gemini's. Um, you may be looking at your woman as the queen of wands. She could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, you need to make, you're trying to make a decision. Do you fully jump in and invest emotionally? Be like the fool, not knowing where or how this situation will go, but knowing that this is like a soulmate, soulmate type of relationship. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, it's a successful relationship, even though there might be some interference, some outside interference, um, or there has been, and it caused you to feel betrayed, or vice versa, with maybe a Sagittarius or a Leo. Um, but what this says is that you know, spirit, God, your angels are working with you to restore this and bring it back to positivity. Okay. Alright, so that's what's going on for my Gemini's for um, the next two weeks. It looks like a love reading there. For some of you, some things are going to get found out. For some of you, you're in a relationship where you don't know if you should fully invest because there has been past heartbreak, argument, betrayal. Let's see what's going on for career and finance, okay? Career finance I did the first spread for you guys off camera just to save time I've got to do 12 of these so please don't get in the comments and why didn't you shuffle on camera you come shuffle you come up come, come here and shuffle for me okay you tell me ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck nice so in regards to money and things being solid in your life monetarily home wise it looks really good ten of pentacles the hermit 
Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, Temperance. Uh, once again, this is a situation about infidelity, wish fulfillment, endings, allowing an ending. You wish for an ending. You wish for clarity. Will you allow that to happen? Some of you are still holding on when you know you just need to be single, find love for self. And then that's when you'll find that husband or that wife figure that that come that will compliment you with the nine of pentacles. Some people, some of you guys are pregnant or there's a pregnancy or a pregnancy scare. We got the page of pentacles, then the nine of wands, and then we also have the nine of cups. Um this is supposed to be career and finance. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. Let's say that. And the Nine of Pentacles. So we'll say money-wise, it's not an issue. Relationship, whether it's romantic or friendship or whatever you want to deem it as, you're trying to go within and try to figure this thing out because there's there's heartbreak, there's betrayal, um, maybe in a long-standing commitment or marriage. Maybe with a Sagittarius, you're trying to get back balance. This has you off balance. You're acting out of character for yourself. Um, it has you so confused about things. With the Seven of Cups, it, this person, this situ situation has you confused. You're trying to go within and try to figure out, okay, well, well, how did I react before when they did X, Y, and Z years ago and this and that and that? I have to do something different. I'm trying to find spiritual guidance and clarity by going within. You might even be going to a counselor, a pastor, trying to find clarity that way and trying to find balance in that manner. Uh, but at the same time, some of you still holding on to something that possibly no longer serves you, makes you emotionally confused, has caused heartbreak, heartache, mental frustration. But you're still holding on to this this husband for some of my Gemini women or men are still holding on to this um oh god this provider that's what I heard that's what he is still holding on to I think your your stability is tied up in this emperor this ten of pentacles is tied up in this emperor so if some of you if for my single Gemini people you're at the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. You're good. You're waiting for somebody to come in. The best way to do that is fall in love with yourself. Have fun. Someone will come in. Now let's do advice cards. For those who are already partnered, married, long-standing relationships, you know that this doesn't serve you anymore, but you're still holding on to it because maybe your finances are tied up into a relationship. You don't know which way to go. You don't know which is, which, you know, Ways up or down for you, you know, right now. You need to figure out your finances. I think once you do that, then you can make real moves. Some of you still holding on to someone because they provide, you know, a solid foundation. When you should be the Nine of Pentacles and providing that for yourself. So it's not that you need a person in the sense of lack, but you you would need them to um Fulfill your destiny and your life purpose. You know, because people don't you don't just get with somebody just to love on them forever. You get, you get with people and soulmates and twin flames and all that stuff, so y'all y'all can really do something in this earth. You know, whatever that may be. Motivation at the bottom of the deck. Volunteer. Family changes. Emotions. Seeking and finding, yeah. In that first spread, we have some truth and clarity coming out. You may it may be coming out because you're seeking it. You know, you you are stalking somebody, or you just you're trying to find the answers because you want emotional clarity. There may be some family changes. Someone may be moving in out of a home, buying a home, getting a pet, uh, losing a pet children moving away uh for the summer or coming back from college for the summer uh someone asks to live with you family changes could be anything someone finds out that they're pregnant um either in your home or it's you or family changes here volunteer volunteer to help 
um, combat some of the negativity surrounding you um, emotionally you know if you're not in such a happy situation go see real unhappy situations and that'll make you grateful for where you are also it'll help you move forward you know that time is not standing still but it is moving and so you'll move forward with time because that's the only thing we can't get back time you can get everything else back cannot get time back so uh, it's very valuable and it's precious so have the motivation to volunteer move forward and make changes that are conducive to your well-being all right so i hope that this helps you out jim and i have a happy happy birthday no matter what no matter what okay no little bite mess up the birthday turn up okay um for some of you already celebrated or still celebrating or whatever but um gemini if you feel like you need a personal reading to expound on some of the energy here um send me an email my email address is below everything of how to reach me on social media instagram it's all below pricing is below um uh, time frame is below i'm gonna i'm working on the website today it was just very overwhelming with people just going and booking for themselves and i had to keep up with that so anyway i'm gonna get that back started and you'll be able to just go and book however you want gift a reading to someone whatever all right so gemini remember i am praying for you pray for me as well i will see you guys in the next two weeks uh, also look out for the june uh mid monthlies okay take care gemini